Is your music lacking that primal energy? You know that mystical power that just takes over your whole body and makes it move all by itself? Well, then this video is for you, because we're going to be revealing how the amazing British band Architects use melodic rhythms to do this in their brand new single. Wait, what the f is a melodic rhythm? And how's it different to a melody? Good questions, and the answers are coming up. But first, take <laughs> Revolutionaries and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Channel. I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and you're watching our New Music Friday show. Where we troll through the new releases every week to find the hottest theory hacks for your weekend studio session. So if that sounds useful to you, then please subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications. We've got a super special show for you today as we've partnered with the mighty Get Good Drums for an exciting giveaway of their brand new drum library, Modern and Massive. Trust us, it's not just a clever name. But, for the record, this is not a sponsored video. We don't do any sponsored content on our channel. We bought our copy of Modern and Massive, but because it's literally like the best drum sounds we've ever heard, we just had to share it with you. And there's an interesting story behind why we chose this video for the giveaway. Yes, indeed. So, Dan, the amazing Architects drummer, actually recorded his drums for the new album in the same studio that the Modern and Massive drum library was recorded in. And on top of that, the genius behind Get Good Drums, Adam Molly Get Good, <laughs> also engineered and mixed the new Architects album. So if you love Dan's drum sound, you'll love this library. And if you don't win a copy in our giveaway, then you can buy one like we did. It's so worth it. We'll put a link below. So how do you win a copy though? All shall be revealed after the lesson. But for now, it's time to open your door to hack music theory. The theory. Rhythm is ancient and primal, as our ancestors were almost certainly banging on things long before they were blowing into bone flutes. Now, Fast forward over 40,000 years, and the colossal opening riff of the new Architect single Hereafter has this same primal energy to it, because it would function just as well if it was played on one pitch. This makes it a melodic rhythm, which is a musical concept whereby a memorable rhythm is usually composed first, then pitches are assigned to the notes afterwards. Examples of melodic rhythms range from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, to Architect's new single. The difference between a melodic rhythm and a melody is that a melodic rhythm is still recognizable when its melody is removed, or when the pitches are all changed. Yeah, and that's exactly why our example in this video still sounds like the hereafter riff, even though we've changed all the pitches. The hack. And just before we jump in, if you're new to music theory or if you just want to brush up on the basics, no problem, we got you covered. Just read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks, Learn Scales and Chords, which you can download at hackmusictheory.com. Alright, let's crack on. Step 1. Pulse and Backbeat. Set your grid to 4 bars of 4-4 four, four at a tempo of 121 BPM. Now we're going to start by giving your creation a heartbeat. So hit a symbol, we chose the China, on every quarter note beat. This is your beast's pulse. Next it's snare time. And Dan went with a super groovy halftime backbeat here, which is when you spank the snare on beat 3 instead of the regular beat 2 and beat 4. Step 2, 16th and Variation. Ah uh, yeah, it's kick time, so we're gonna get this party started with a bunch of 16th notes on the kick for momentum, and throw a few on the snare too. And you only have to program two bars, cause then you can just copy and paste those into bars three and four. Also be sure to use syncopation for maximum groove. And syncopation is just when you play an offbeat, but not the onbeat just before it. And on one of your syncopated eighth note kicks, like this one here, hit a crash at the same time to really accent that offbeat. And for the ultimate syncopation, don't play a kick on beat one of bar two, and bar four. Yeah, this is such a sick trick from Dan and it takes this groove to a whole new level. Then the final bit of step two is to simply add one sixteenth note to bar four to give it some variation so it rolls around to the beginning. 
And by the way, if you want more rhythmic sorcery, we've got a great lesson for you on Tesseract time signatures. So just keep watching because that video will pop up on your screen at the end of this one. Step three, triplets. So many rhythms these days consist of straight notes only, which is fine, but sprinkling a few triplets into a rhythm that's mainly straight notes is so damn tasty as they're completely unexpected. So change your grid to 16th note triplets and get sprinkling. Don't overdo it though, once per bar is plenty. Step four, melody. Lastly, now that your rhythm is pumping, it's time to turn it into a melodic rhythm. So copy and paste your kick and snare rhythm into a guitar, bass or synth track and then extend all the notes to the right so there's no rests in between them. Next, move the notes up and down to create your melody. And if you're going for something heavy like architects, then use dissonant intervals, which are the intervals of one semitone, three semitones, six semitones, eight semitones, 10 semitones, and 11 semitones. And with that, you're done. And by the way, if you need help writing melodies, mm -hmm. writing new sections for existing sections, transitioning between sections, or anything else, then you need to join our cutting edge online apprenticeship where you'll literally <laughs> learn every step of the music making process from start to finish. So if that sounds useful to you, then head on over to hackmusictheory.com. Right, it's competition time. So you can enter our giveaway by subscribing to our channel and to the Get Good Drums channel over at youtube.com slash getgooddrums. Then drop us a comment below this video and tell us why you should win a copy of the Modern and Massive Drum Library. We've got two copies to give away, which means our favorite two comments will both win. So make those answers really sincere or really funny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll announce the winners in next week's video. Lastly, thanks big time to everyone who made this video possible. Yeah, Nolly, Matt, Misha, and my good chum, Daz, who's not only part of the Get Good Drums team, he's also in one of our favorite bands. Good Tiger! <laughs> a lot of goodness in this video. Then big thanks to our studio wizard, Merrick De La Fuente from the band Exist Immortal for mixing and mastering the example in this video. Then last but definitely not least, big thanks to Malcolm Shulbraid, who's the drummer from Figma for doing the playthrough. And by the way, the debut album from Figma, which was produced by me, <laughs> is coming out soon, so be sure to check out their link below, because if you dig Architects, you'll dig Figma. There's also links below to Good Tiger and Exist Immortal, so go check out all these amazing bands. And finally, please note that despite the live drummer in the playthrough video, all the drums you're hearing are the programmed MIDI drums with 100% of the sounds coming from the modern and massive library. We just wanted the drummer in the playthrough so all the non-drummers watching can see the pattern being played. All right, that's it. We really hope this video inspired and empowered you. Thank you for joining the Hack Music Theory Revolution. We'll see you next week.